You guys are good to go. Um, we got LD and Robert. All right, they're just, we'll pretend that they're jawing a little bit. Like LD is talking smack to Robert. But uh, you, you, you guys could start whenever. All right, they're actually going into it now. Antoine, I don't think you'd beat Shears in a 12th character. You have several very good characters, but I think Shears would catch you off guard. Um, so, Robert has experience in this matchup. Online player and whatnot. And he's got good DI to get him out of some of these combos. But, it's LD. And it's the Pika Slayer. He loses to... Kira and no other or mine, I guess. But, um, what he does is he just combos the crap out of you. LD's combos are very they they look flashy, hey, party but they're people. they are optimized combos designed to kill Pika. Isaiah is not here. He is on the other side of the country. <laughs> um, but I heard he signed up for SmashCon. Yeah, and, and Gommel. Sweet. That one is. That's we'll the that Toronto one, one in, uh, right before SmashCon. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Isaiah is traveling to tournaments. Um, I'm so glad he's getting back out of the game. Time is good for 64. Yeah. And LD's already built a two-stock lead on Robert. Again, when LD gets a, a, a hit on Pika, very often then it's dead. Like this right here. Um, oh, great, great DI from Robert. There was a discussion on Twitter earlier about how to get out of LD's combos. And most were saying up, up DI. Yeah, DIing up in my opinion is probably the best you can do. Um, but we'll see. Robert knows how to, how to DI well. So we'll see. Oh, I think he wanted to walk off. But we'll see if Robert has the DI to get out of some of these combos. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me box out of LD. Box. It's a lie. So you see. It, it's very easy to get LD into the corner, right? I jumped blue jet as That was so yeah. I always forget to do that as a Pikachu. It, it's, it seems like, you you know, very easy to get LD into the corner. But once you have him there, it's very hard to, like, actually hit him and get him off stage. He's very good at use, kind of abusing boxes, hit boxes, once he's backed into a corner. Gonna throw some lasers to kind of keep Robert close to the ground to make his approaches more one-dimensional. There this is exactly where LD wants him. Yeah. Robert tries to get fancy. That's the only way you're gonna recover against LD if you do something tricky. Good DI from Robert, but I was say, I, it seemed like LD found a way to keep that combo going even with the DI. But he dropped it at the end. And this is not Cheers' Fox. Robert having a little bit of a harder time against LD. Yeah, I try not to be. I tr try not to be a you know biased commentator and whatnot, and I try not to sing too many praises on one player or another. But you know it's LD, right? <laughs> it's hard not to like talk about what he's doing well because he's, he's, he does things that other people Three, two, don't. One, so. go. Back into it. 
LD. Yeah, it's like a little ledge cancel. And Robert trying to DI out of the down air, but I feel like getting him off stage might have served him better. Got him with that laser. Death CPO, the only person on the planet that wants to see LD go curve right now. <laughs> Double dash attack into the forward tilt. The LT sometimes, if he's not getting the combo going, he'll play it kind of like a Pika. Move. He tries to get Pika off stage for like a game, which is crazy on the other side of this matchup. He knows if he gets that Pikachu off stage, he can get several edge guards and rack up percent, perhaps even get a kill. Ooh, they're just cool. jumping loops around each yeah. other. Yeah. Short hop up airs are very dangerous, but that's how LD starts off with a lot of combos. And you can hear LD talking about uh, console already. But, oh! Rower had a back air opportunity there to push LD off the stage. Um, but he went for the up air instead. A little safer of an option, but not as punishing. Oh! oh. Tough. Yeah. Tough Shears SD from LD. You don't really see a lot of those, I feel like. So LD makes mistakes, but they're not usually in SD. Shield break? Aw. Good up here. See if Robert can get past this wall of attacks. Nice jab and the down air. Another down air, oh, and LD no. putting himself in a precarious spot. He's very fortunate that he... Ooh, that grab. And Robert needed to perhaps stick jump or get a second jump there to get the back air. He's doing a good job of following up once Fox gets back on stage. Yeah. When you... A lot of times when you try and te tech chase Fox, he'll get the jab like that. But if Robert um, hadn't hesitated there, I believe he would have gotten the grab. Alright. LD throwing us for a loop there. I really thought he was just going to continue the forward airs into the nair off stage. Maybe that's a little bit of uh, a respect to Robert's DI because that forward air combo likely going to work on Robert's DI. Ooh, ooh reverse down to it. <laughs> LD's trying to figure out a way to get back on stage. A little bit of trickery works for him. Oh, the rolls! Fox's roll is the fastest roll in the game. Uh, it's certainly one of the best. Oh, unedge guardable. And Robert missing the, the reverse. reverse back air, yeah. Jeez. Robert is giving LD way too many opportunities. He had this game in his hands, but like. Oh, okay. yeah. The more you let LD survive, you know, well, it's true for anyone, but like, you give LD second, third chances, you should not win the game. He's, he'll pay for it. Oh, let's see if Robert can get back. Robert's missed a couple angles. Um, seeing talks in chat of perhaps the. Um, Differences in all the console. I haven't seen them really play on online. I could say. Oh, it's yeah. That was seen some some hesitation from Robert. Uh, it's hard to tell if it's like missing the initial oh. dash, which happens sometimes, or if he's you know really thinking his options through and afraid to follow up quickly. That jump there. Robert's been so good with those uh, shield jump nairs, and he takes game takes two against game LD. Game off LD. Going yeah. to game three, all right. Yeah, Ro Robert's. Uh, oh, well, he's doing a lot of things right, but those those shield jump, the nairs out of shield. Oh, really? Those good. are yeah. They've kind of changed the momentum in the game. He's popped them out at the right time. Um, and yeah, like at the end there, he was losing control of that game very quickly, and that completely turned it around.
LD playing a little smarter now with his uh, short hops. Trying to respect to Robert after dropping the game. Edge guards. It's smart of Robert to go high. It's a lot harder for LD to follow up when he goes high. That's a risky option. Didn't get much too hard though. I like how LD dangled off the edge to make it look like when Pikachu came back, the up air could have hit him, and then as soon as Pikachu jumped, he quickly dashed back. And yeah. Really moves his uh, hurt box really fast. I think that's crazy. Yeah, Robert, uh, he made it back. It was a really good recovery, but um, his option off the ledge didn't help him not get killed. But yeah, LD won uh, game one. Crazy. Robert won game two. Fox getting tricky with the recovery. Oh, good. And that was smart. Robert, you could tell he was tempted to get off the ledge, but yeah. um, he played it smart, patient. Knew the LD wouldn't get there. And he's stuck in shield again. Wasn't able, I think he wanted to, another one of those nares, but instead it went for a grab. Is that safe on shield, Fox's uh, jab like that? Because I see him do it a lot. I don't know if that's... I um, guess if Pikachu tries to grab in between, Fox oh, will have dashed past him already. To so do there's it. something interesting. LD is used to a lot of Pikas, especially in Baltimore, going for the down tilt when he's coming up like that. And so he throws out the forward air. Yeah. Robert has a very interesting edge guard style. It's kind of like like an older style, I believe, where he'll pull into the stage and then fade back with the back air. Um, so the player thinks that they can get onto the stage because of Pika's moving in, but yeah. then when he comes out with that back air, they're just dead. Um, LD's gotten punished for that a couple times. I think that's one thing that really shines about Robert. Um, he's very, usually very clean with his edge guard, especially against Falcon. But it's shown in this matchup too. Oh no, got caught for a short hop up there. It's never good against LDU Laser. Oh, no up smash. I really, yeah. I My balls are it. so blue right now, <laughs> I don't understand. And he is somewhere here crying. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, no very time. dangerous option from LD. You do that against Robert, you're going to die. And Robert capitalizes completely on that. If he can make it back, Ooh. good recovery. Yeah, good Especially with the threat of that Ford air playing out there. Oh, that Ford air hit. Yeah. Dang. The LD looked like he DI'd just far enough away to not get punished. Oh, the dash attack. Uh, Robert could have gone up. Oh, that I really thought the up air was going to connect. That was a good up by Robert. Oh, yeah, LD gets for the down tilt kill. He's kind of shrugged his shoulder. Um, Sorry, Leaf. So Robert springs this back. He needs to... It's tough. He needs to play a little more patient. You, you see him running in there. Um, he puts himself in a position where he doesn't really have any options to beat out Fox's hitboxes. Like right there, running into Fox like that, facing him. There's nothing that's, that you can do that's going to get you the neutral advantage that you want. Um, Fox has really good hitboxes, but I feel like if you're, if you're facing away from him, you have a better chance. You can throw out an up air, reverse facing if he comes at you. Throw out a back air to push uh, stage position or even get a hit. And a uh, little talking afterwards, LD taking that set 2 1, but that was not at all easy for him. Yeah. Very close.